So before we jump into this week's video, let me start off by apologizing for the big gap since my last video. Uh, for those of you that are consistently watching my videos, uh, yeah, I've been missing. And uh, it's a few uh, changes in my household and it's made it a little more difficult for me to make videos uh, on my free time. But uh, we're going to figure out a way to work around it and we'll keep videos coming out for you. And uh, secondly, let me give a big shout out to uh, Green Oasis Farms who uh, hooked me up with this cool hat. I was on a live stream for Susan at SLC Aquatics and uh, I was the lucky winner and received this and uh, I like it a lot. Um, so I'll leave a link to their uh, YouTube channel as well as their website down below. Make sure to check them out. Uh, you, the Henio brothers are uh, good people and uh, I would like to see you guys support them. All right, so let's jump to it. Now, I never have to clean my aquarium glass, and that's because of this one simple creature, and it's the, called the Nerite Snail. The Nerite Snail is amazing. It, I, the only thing I have to clean on my aquarium glass is the outside. The inside is pretty much taken care of. I mean, if you look very, very closely, you might see some green spots, but uh, for the most part, they take care of everything. Uh, I let this, this uh, tank get out of hand purposely. I got a Nerite Snail on this side, and I don't have one on this side. And you can see that there's a lot of more algae on one side versus the other. I mean, these things are amazing. Uh, there's definitely a lot of pluses to them. Uh, for example, a lot of problems with snails is they just keep multiplying. Well, the Nerite snail will breed and lay eggs in a freshwater tank, but their eggs will not hatch in a freshwater um, ecosystem. So they actually have to be introduced into salt water and slowly reintroduced into fresh water just a whole nother topic that we'd have to cover another day so you don't have to worry about them reproducing uh, another thing is they're fairly small so they don't cause too much waste now they're awesome little guys and they come in a lot of different variations I only have the green olives uh, near right snail but they have the horn near right um, some was like a bumblebee stripe so you got definitely options out there so you not only will you have a snail that will take care of your tank for you but you also have a cool looking pet. I have near snails in at least all of my tanks. Uh, one in my 10 gallon, one in my five and a half gallon, and two in my 75 gallon acrylic tank, along with a, uh, what do you call it? A bushy nose pleco. Uh, and then those guys pretty much just handle the, the, the acrylic glass for me to where I don't even have to clean the inside of that either. And uh, yeah, I'm loving not having to do that. So I can't see myself not having one, unless of course, I end up getting something that's going to eat it. Then I have no choice than, than to uh, go without, right? So I'm keeping this video short. Uh, hopefully I can continue to provide you with other videos. I hope you enjoyed this one this week. It was just a quick tip pretty much. And uh, find a near right near you so that you can keep your aquarium glass clean and avoid having to scrape the inside all the time. All right, till next time, guys.